so in my lab we do focus on development and we use a combination of uh, animal model called the zebrafish, the poisson zebre. Uh, and we use zebrafish because it's a very simple uh, animal that we can get hundreds and hundreds of fish you know, from one, from one cross. Uh, the fish are transparent, we can see through them, and so we can watch myelination as it happens. They're also a very powerful organism to do genetic screens and, and drug screens, and so we use the zebrafish as a discovery platform to find new genes or new pathways that regulate mostly developmental myelination. And when we find a new gene, we then take it to mouse models, uh, developmental mouse models, but also models of injury and repair uh, in the mouse. Yeah, there are a number of projects in the lab. Many of them are focused on particular genes that we've discovered. And so uh, one gene that came from a genetic screen in zebrafish is a member of a particular class of G-protein coupled receptors called adhesion G-protein coupled receptors. So the original discovery came out of a genetic screen. We figured out what the protein did after discovering it in zebrafish, did things in mouse and in fish, uh, also tissue culture, uh, pharmacology experiments. And so discovering this one molecule that drives myelination, um, we found other proteins in the same class that have different functions, but important functions in both the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system myelination. So that's one arm of the lab is understanding how these receptors work, what activates them, um, how do they work together, do they bind to each other, what cell types do they function in. And we recently finished a new screen uh, in zebrafish and we have a lot of different genes. Uh, some of them are novel, some of them are old players that we knew before, but we're discovering new ways that they work. Um, and so figuring out exactly what these molecules do and how they do it uh, is another focus of the lab. So one of the, we, we are working on, we're gearing up to do animal models of multiple sclerosis. We don't do anything with humans, uh, but we are working on mouse models of myelin, demyelination and remyelination in the central nervous system. One of the genes that came out of our screen is actually, when it's mutated, the animals make more myelin uh, in both the central and the peripheral nervous system, and so we're taking this gene to models of myelin repair in the central nervous system, and also trying to find molecules that can activate this pathway, and maybe this would be a good uh, drug candidate.